let me start this way. I opened the book and in I strode. Now nobody can find me. I have left my chair, my house, my road, my town and my world behind me. What I recited was a stanza from Julia Donaldson's I opened a book. Well, this is what I feel with every book I read. Reading books is a pleasure. It has its very own joy. We overlook our anxieties for the time being and live in the world made for us by the creator. Reading is as vital for our mind as food is for our body. It is the reading of books which revives us when billows of distress obscure our lives. It is accordingly the healthiest past time. I started reading when I was a toddler with my mom, of course. As I grew older, I explored that reading is not limited to books, but it is of various types. To begin with, there is light reading and then there are daily papers, periodicals, articles and so forth enhancing the table of each informed man. Nobody can stand to miss what is going on in different parts of the world. There are, for instance, political locations which are occurring in this quickly evolving world. Next, we come to books on movements and adventures. Likewise, I find these exceptionally interesting. These make in us the spirit of experience and endeavor. I unwittingly get transported to those far off districts. An indistinguishable excite which is experienced by the writer which then magically passes in the exact same way to the reader. Magical! Reading broadens the vision. A decent reader can interface with others in a much better manner. Reading extends the vision and perspective. Well, the cons are that many individuals tend to read for work and study purposes. As a result, they don't connect it with unwinding or enjoyment. Reading was one of the privileged approaches previously, but now it is replaced by a number of gadgets, television, movies and DIY projects. We ought to be cautious in the selection of books. There are great books. They refine our spirits. They enlarge and enrich our mind. We should read such books and infer the best pleasure they can give us. I find my pleasure in fiction, heard and unheard. Let's finish where we started. I'm wearing the cloak, I've slipped on the ring and swallowed the magic potion. I opened the book and made some friends, shared their tears and laughters and their roads with the bumps and bends to the happily ever after. I finished my book and out I came. My cloak can no longer hide me. My house and my chair are just the same, but I have a book inside me. Thank you.